Every MnDOT research project, however it is funded, is guided by a technical advisory panel. Each member of the panel has a particular role to play that is essential to the success of the research project. Every technical advisory panel is composed of at least three members, the principal investigator who performs the research, the technical liaison who is the champion for the research, and the project coordinator who monitors the research contract. Additional members may also serve on the panel to bring needed expertise to the project. The principal investigator is the expert from a university or consulting firm who is contracted by MnDOT to perform the research and deliver the findings. In this video, two experienced principal investigators, Professor Catherine French from the University of Minnesota and Michael Marty with SRF Consulting, share their thoughts on the responsibilities, challenges, and rewards of serving as PI on Minnesota Research Project Advisory Panels. As a principal investigator on the technical advisory panel, I think I consider my most important role is to address a problem that is of interest to the Department of Transportation. I think the principal investigator needs to have both a technical background, one that can lead a good scientific project, but at the same time have some economics to them. I mean, these research projects, they have a finite set of budgets and you have to balance scope versus need at, at the same time. Also, we serve as a mentor to graduate students. As a University of Minnesota faculty professor, one of our key roles is to educate the future engineers, future workforce. <laughs> Really, if I had to answer that question honestly, um, it would be balancing the funding versus the customer expectation. And I say that because typically what happens in a research project is that we scope out a project, but it's not until we actually get started that the technical experts, the practitioners get involved, and really then they tell us or reveal to us what their needs are. The most challenging part is maybe to stay focused on this is what we're set to deliver. One of the rewarding aspects that I see from this project or this process is I get to learn a lot. But although learning is important, probably the biggest thing I think here in Minnesota and working with research are the folks that you get to work with. Whether it be the city and county engineers that are involved with the local road research board or with the MnDOT research folks themselves. When you see the research that you've conducted being implemented in practice or if the um, you feel that the MnDOT um, engineers who've raised the issue have found value with your work and that it's made a difference, made an impact. What I found with having this implementation of the technical panels is much better communication, much better assurance that you are addressing the problem that's of interest to the Department of Transportation. It's just a much better and more fulfilling, more effective way to conduct the research. You know, one main component of successful local research board research or MnDOT research is a technical advisory panel that's really composed of both technical experts and practitioners. Having representation from, you know, both of these groups, it provides a balance of both theoretical and practical experience. And to me, that's the formula of research that can be put into practice and used. For more insights on the roles of the Technical Advisory Panel, watch the remaining four videos in this series, featuring research services leaders and seasoned panel members from MnDOT and other organizations. For more detailed information and guidance, see MnDOT's Technical Advisory Panel Guidelines on the Research Services website. <laughs>